feel like it's been a while since I've just talked to the camera. Anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys, like a little catch up. So much has been going on. I've been working on lots of projects behind the scenes, including a massive tutorial that is taking me forever to make, but it's going to be very in-depth how to draw and paint landscapes, basically. So it's like a crash course in everything. So right now I'm working on the rocks section uh, and next up will be trees and so forth. So it'll eventually be finished and I'll have more time for lots of other things, but I'm also just trying to stay sane during all of the craziness with the COVID virus and all that, which I'm not even gonna spend time on today. So I just thought it would be nice for you guys to join me for some very chill, I wanna call it like an art, it's like art downtime, where I'm still being productive, but taking it easy on myself. And something I've been wanting to do for a while is to finally swatch out all of my polychromos colored pencils, and then also do a color mixing chart, because I feel like I just need that. I need to get a better sense of how they mix. And I thought it would be really good for blending practice as well. I feel like ever since we moved, it's just been really hard to have enough energy to do all the things I used to do. So I'm trying to keep my business afloat and I'm trying to create good content and art that I'm proud of. And that's really hard lately and I'm so exhausted. So just know that if I end up missing a week here and there uploading something, um, you can always come join me on my streams and keep up with me on social media. Uh, but it's not that I don't wanna make videos, it's just uh, sometimes a little bit too difficult to squeeze one in, especially lately while I'm working on um, the, uh, what did I call it? My brain is fried. <laughs> uh, tutorial, words, yes. Anyways, let's do some art. Before we jump into the colored pencils, I wanted to show you guys that uh, I've been using the brush brush pens a little bit more, experimenting with them a little bit. I've filled one of them with a darker color, and I also changed out the orange for clear water, which has been great. I'm really glad I did that. It's just been working out a lot better, so there's a little update on that. <laughs> Uh, there are 60 swatches available on this chart and I only have like 32 pencils or something like that. So I guess we'll start off by organizing them. Or I might do them, since I have four across, I might do the oranges. As you can see, there are four slots for the different gradients, and I found that the easiest way to do this is to start with the darkest, then jump over to the fourth box and do the lightest version, then work your way back towards the dark. And that just allows you to see the full spectrum of your values and not accidentally go too dark in one of the other boxes. Comparison. 
I started this chart the same way I would with my paint swatches, so lay down a diagonal line of all of the pure color without any mixes. Then lay the color in from left to right, filling in the entire row. And try not to go too dark because you'll need to be layering the color later. I definitely didn't do this the most efficient way. I think the better way to do this would be to lay in all of the rows of color and then come back and do the opposite direction and start layering because otherwise you're constantly grabbing different pencils and it can get a little confusing. Like occasionally I lay, started laying in the wrong color into one of the boxes, but luckily I didn't do a whole row. <laughs> I caught myself pretty fast. But I did notice that you can't just lay in a 50-50 mix. You have to kind of keep going back and forth and sandwiching the colors in between each other in order to get a, a very smooth blend. I had to stop a couple times because I got a hand cramp from pressing way too hard. And it's just something I do out of habit. But with these Polychromos pencils, they're so smooth and buttery. You really don't need to do that. Uh, that's a habit I'm going to have to break. <laughs> if anyone has any suggestions for really good paper to do pe colored pencil on, let me know. This is just computer paper because I wanted something quick and easy. I think I also have some super smooth bright white vellum paper that I'm going to play with, but I only have one or two sheets left, so something I need to order soon, so please do let me know. In other news, I have something exciting to tell you guys. If anyone is looking for inspiration or motivation to stay creative, uh, my friend and I are doing a new collaboration. So each month we are going to release a new theme and you can create anything that relates to that theme with whatever you want. So whatever your own craft is. And if you want to share it to our community, we are going to be using specific hashtags. And then at the end of each month, we will share all of the submissions on our streams. We're calling ourselves the Owl Fox Society because her stream has owls and my stream has foxes. So it's kind of perfect for us. And it's just a really fun way for us to stay creative as well as cross-pollinate our communities. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want these free color mixing charts and swatch sheets, please see the links in the description. If you decide to join us in creating something fun for the new collaboration, please use the hashtag so that we can find you. Leslie and I would love to see what you guys come up with. Alright guys, stay well and I'll see you again soon.